Good evening, everyone. Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 4th of June, 2024. I'm not going to go too crazy in the detail tonight simply because I have to do a private Patreon React video of over an hour. Well, an hour, but then uploading it and everything. So because of that, I need to get to that. So I'm not going to elaborate too, too long in this video. But in a nutshell, podcast today was fun. We talked about some gaming news, updates, and things like that. And then we started a new game called Crow Country. Why did we play Crow Country? Because you guys recommended it, told me all about it, said it was right up my alley, said it was a game that people would really enjoy watching me play because it emulates kind of like a PS1 survival horror experience like Resident Evil or Silent Hill and that it was reviewed very highly. I paid for this game, 20 bucks, you know, started playing it today, played it for around three hours. I like it. It does play like a classic survival horror, but with quality of life improvements. You can rotate the camera fully. The game runs at 60 frames. The actual combat controls are much better than old survival horror games. <clears throat> but the discovery of the plot is very similar to old survival horror games and well done. So far, I'm really liking it. So I start the stream with a lot of people watching. One hour in, everyone's complaining. Oh, this game is too, too boring. I don't like the graphics because it looks like a PS1 game. All right. Yeah. Can I be honest? I'm getting pissed now because I only knew about this game and played it. Because people told me about it and said, this would be a great game for you. It's right up your alley of horror, the kind of games you like to see you play. The, the minute I start playing it, people start bitching. It does piss me off because I went out of my way to stop playing multiverses. If people said, stop playing it, we don't like that. Play this instead. <clears throat> I do. And now people are telling me, we don't like that either. Do you seem to understand the pattern that I'm getting here? Is that I'm telling you, I like games. I'm enjoying them. The passion is coming through in the gameplay. But we got a group of people who are just negative fucking people who come by and complain about every fucking game that I play now. And it's getting tiring at this point. It is. Where were the people who wanted this game? It started off with good viewership by the end of the stream. Again, under 300 viewers. We actually had a good rallying of support during the podcast. As soon as I start playing the game, nonstop complaints. People stop supporting. Uh, I, I, I'd actually say we did good with Super Chats today. Tips, we got 20 bucks. For the entire premiere stream of a new game. So basically the stream kind of paid itself for the cost of the game. But that's not what I'm looking for. People told me it was reviewed well. Everyone likes this. So where are the people? The positive people who want to see it? Honest, honest question at this point. Okay? Where are they? Or is it more bullshit? Is it more people blowing smoke up my butt about this is a game we want to see you play. But not really. We knew that no one would like Phil playing this because it looks like an old game. You know, this reminds me of Signalis. Signalis I played in early 2023 when there was no other high-profile games out. It did play like a classic survival horror game. Admittedly, with Signalis, there were some things that caused me to rage at the end. I feel like the whole final stage was awful. But some of the game was quite good, um, and it did feel like, like a new Resident Evil experience, okay? Signalis also did not do well. Basically, people were complaining by the end, okay? The good news is Pro Country is only nine hours long, roughly, and we're three hours in. So two more streams and it's over. But I am disappointed that this is a game that I'm liking. It is up my up to speed of what I'm looking for. You would think that would resonate with the audience. Where What happened? Again, you say, oh, it's you. How could it be me? I'm playing the game, enjoying it. Commentary is good. Everyone's, you know, again, what's going on? I'd love to hear it. I want to know. Because the day before, I did Fallout 4 and Street Fighter, and that was a superb day. Everyone engaged, talking, having fun, viewership decent, support good. Then I have a day of something new. And you want to know the truth? Here's what it is. It's an indie game. Just like tonight on the late stream, we played Hades 2. An indie game. And guess how that did? Take a wild shot. The reason that we're not even continuing it at this point is it's doing poor. Attendance was, was weak. Engagement. Half the stream was not looking at or talking about the game. I'd say in the chat, there were four people talking about the game. I could name it on one hand. Game Trekker, The Blimp, Bloom Kit, and maybe one other person were actually talking about the game. Everyone else just disengaged, not paying any attention. Oh, I don't like this game. It's an indie game. <laughs> Years. People want indie games. Now there's two I've played in a week. No one likes them. So where exactly is the love for the indies? Oh, well, you didn't play them when they were new. Hades is literally brand new. And Crow County is le or Crow Country is less than a, a, a month old. It's bullshit. Okay? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think that there's love for indies within a community that loves indies. My community is not known as that community because most of the time I wasn't a PC gamer, correct? 
So because I'm not a PC gamer, I'm not going to get that crowd. That crowd has gone to other YouTubers, other streamers, and that's where people go for that. It's cool that people say, oh, I like to watch Phil play everything, but it's not a, gr a big crowd. There's people who come by for their certain genres of stuff they like. Right now, the fighting game crowd is a good one. The Fallout crowd is a good one. You know coming up, games like Elden Ring, that crowd's coming back. That's going to be excellent, right? But those are all big mainstream games. These indie games are not cutting it. So all these years that I avoided indie games probably was in my best interest. It doesn't seem like my audience sadly likes them that much, even though I do. Like, I'm playing them and actually enjoying them. Like, wow, I would play more. I would have more in the rotation, but they're not doing well. I've been outright told, stop playing Hades 2. So tonight, FYI, great stream of Hades 2. <clears throat> we were using the torches, the new weapon. It turns the game almost into a shoot 'em up Super fun. It's interesting. I, I did die a couple times, but my third run, I was doing really well. And I actually got through the whole first two stages. I was going to take on the third, but I ran out of time because I got to do this uh, patron video. So I had no opportunity to continue that run. Um, and people were disappointed. Oh, man, I wish you could continue. I know. But guess what? Guess how the support was tonight, right? One big tip, one small tip, two small super chats. That's it. And attendance, low. Not good attendance. In fact, there was like 100 people there trolling just because they knew that no one has been uh, really attending in droves my indie game streams. So they, sh they showed up to basically derail the stream and be dicks about it, you know? So, yeah, today today was a, ga a day of two indie games. Great gameplay, great commentary, and me enjoying it. I hope it comes through in the videos. And complete and utter lack of interest from my audience. So it's this simple. I'm going to be honest now. I'm probably not going to play indie games that much. I don't see the point. The whole idea of the mini PC was to give me access to these games. Now that I'm trying them all, no one cares. So I don't know what to tell you. I have to react to what my audience tells me. When every time I play an indie game, oh, it doesn't look good. Oh, it's I hate those pixelated old graphics. Oh, it's too slow paced and blah, blah, blah. That's, I mean, that's indie games. That's the point, you know, is that it's not going to be some ginormous high profile AAA release with a giant budget with all the things you're looking for in those other games. This year, there are no good AAA games. That's the problem. There literally are none. They're all big RPGs that suck, right? They're too boring or games that are underwhelming. If there were good AAA games, I'd be playing them. There haven't been, you know, Elden Ring is the next one. And then we got to go from there. We got to hope that with Summer Game Fest and everything coming up, that actually we're going to have some good games coming out. Because right now, there's literally nothing. I don't know what to tell you. In a year with no good AAA games, there's not much I can do to play good AAA games. All right? So, sorry for those who like the indie games. I'm on the same page as you, and I want to play them. But you saw for the for today how today went, right? Okay, fair enough. I think that's as transparent and matter-of-fact as I can be. I love indie games, and I can't play them. Because people don't show up and support them. Okay? So, Crow Country will continue. It's a short enough game. It just sucks that it seems like the next two streams aren't going to do very well. Maybe I'm wrong and there'll be a turnaround, but I'm not feeling so positive about it. Because now it seems like every indie game is, is now behaving the same. Uh, Hades 2, great run tonight, but that's it for now. Uh, it will come back in the future. I promise you that because I like the game. Uh, whether it's when the game is full access or not, I don't know. But I don't want to just drop the game. I'm really enjoying it. I actually had a really great run. I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm, you know, earning upgrades and things. Story's getting good. I want to continue. So that will continue in the future, okay? So tomorrow, my final consecutive streaming day of the week, going back to the basics, going back to the things that work, Fallout 4 in the morning, and Street Fighter 6 at night, Blanca returning now with the new balance patch. I'll finally be able to put my hands on Blanca and see how he's changed, if he's better or worse or whatever. It should be a fun stream with no input delay. My Blanca is probably my best character, and with no input delay, you can only imagine how much it's going to change and how well I'm going to do, right? So I hope you'll join me that for that tomorrow, and keep in mind all the coverage I'll be doing later in the week and over the weekend for these events. So, all right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Sorry that indie games aren't working out. I want them to, and I can't make people show up and, and, and engage in support. You know, what can I do about that? But tomorrow we get back to the mainstream stuff, so hopefully we have a good, solid end of the week. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll talk about this on the podcast tomorrow, I'm sure. All right? Everyone have a good night. See you tomorrow.